Hi, I'm Pauline from Gitpod, the developer platform for cloud development environments, or CDEs. Let me show you around. I'm a developer. The first thing I want to do is work on a pull request that someone else created. Traditionally, I would check out the code and set up various tools in order to do a review. That might include things like Docker, NPM, a compiler, my IDE, and the list goes on. With Gitpod, all I need to do is click this button. From here, you can select the IDE you want or the resources you need. Once it opens, I've got a fully running application and complete dev environment. This code has already been compiled and dependencies downloaded when the dev environment is opened. That's because of Gitpod's pre-builds. So how does all of this get created? There's a YAML file that lives alongside the source code. Traditionally, this would be an outdated readme that an engineer would manually execute. So think of this YAML file as replacing that with a machine readable version. Now, let's look at what happened in this pull request. I can see the changes that were made, inspect the code and work on it. Let's pretend I have a question about this pull request and need to ask the author for an explanation. Gitpod lets me share my workspace with others using a simple link. Finally, let's look at the admin UI. This is where any member of my team will go to administer users. The members page is where we have a list of all users in the organization. The workspaces tab showcases a list of workspaces currently running. It's super easy to configure and interact with any given workspace. Workspaces are rendered inactive after 24 hours, but can be re-enabled with a click of a button.